the Atlanta Falcons who could start the season 3-0, playing the Detroit Lions. This is going to be like a must-watch TV game. Like, what is going on here? Slow it down, baby, right? But that is the next game on the list. It is the 2-0 Atlanta Falcons taking on the Detroit Lions 1-1 at Ford Field, 1 o'clock on Fox. With that being said, this, this game is a game that I feel can go either way as well. Yes, the Falcons are 2-0. Yes, the Falcons are undefeated. Desmond Ritter is playing good. Defense, eh, right. But Robertson is the real deal. Robertson is the real deal. 180 yards so far this season on 29 carries. Hell, Desmond Ritter only has 352 yards pass, passing two touchdowns and one interception. I'm hoping Robertson can find the end zone this week, but how the Falcons can win this game is simple as this. They have to continue to run the ball. They have to continue to run the ball. Let's flash back to last week. Going into the fourth quarter, the Atlanta Falcons were down 24-12 to the Green Bay Packers. 24-12 going into the fourth quarter. Now, most teams are like, man, we are down 12 points. We are down two scores. We need to start stretching that the field like just like a little bit. We need to start passing the ball, right? No, 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 no. What did the Falcons do? They ran the damn ball down the Packers' throat. They ran the ball 65% of the plays in the fourth quarter. They ran the ball 65% in the fourth quarter, being down 12 points and come back and won the game 25 to 24. What? What? And then on top of that, their defense seems to be locked down. Obviously, guys, defense wins championships. Defense wins championships, right? Let's look at the stats that the Falcons put up versus these Green Bay Packers. High-flying Green Bay Packers. Yes, they're a little bit banged up. You can do whatever you want, but it's still an NFL team, NFL game versus top caliber athletes. They only gave up 220, 24 yards total to the Green Bay Packers in week two. 224 yards total. Total. 17 first, first downs, and they held them to three to nine on third down. So the Falcons can beat the Lions if they do the two things. Run the ball, run it over and over and over, run it down the Detroit Lions' throat, run it down to the heat and to the meat and potatoes of that team, and... Play defense. Play defense. Take away that passing game. Because that right now is the only thing that the, the that the Detroit Lions seem to be doing well is passing the ball. Yes, you can flash back to week one when they ran at will versus the Kansas City Chiefs, but let's go back to last week when they lost to the Seattle Seahawks 38-31 to in overtime. They gave up 393 yards total to the Seattle Sea Seahawks. 311 of those yards were in the air. Geno Smith threw for 311 11 yards versus the Detroit Lions defense. Yes, C.J. Garner is out for the season. He is hurt. He's not coming back anytime soon. Figure it out. Figure out how you are going to stop the passing game. Number, number two. Did you have to let the offense eat? The, the Detroit Lions offense is... Pretty good right now. St. Brown had 102 yards catching last week. Montgomery has 65 yards rushing. But most importantly, 418 yards total with 25 first downs. That tells me that, that, that they're consenting or uh, doing nice long drives, keeping the other offense off the field, forcing them to play from behind. And that's what the Seahawks did. But even though the, de the, like the defense shit the bed, uh, it is what it is. So keys for this game for the four or four for the Detroit Detroit Lions. The defense needs to stop the run. Stop the run of the Atlanta Falcons. They want to run the ball. They want to run it a lot. 60, 70, 80% all the time. Stop the damn run. Number two, let Jared Goff eat. Don't be afraid to pay that man. Let Jared Goff eat. Let him throw for the 300 yards. Let him throw for 400 yards. Let him eat. Jamal or Joe, 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 Mar Gibbs will be there in the end. 
when you need him. Montgomery will be there when he ends, but let Jared Goff eat. Falcons continue to play great defense. Continue to play great defense. Take away the running game for the for the Lions. Force them to pass the ball. Make them a one-dimensional team. Went on third downs. Told, you held the Packers a three to three to nine last week. Continue to do that. Also, do what you do best. Run the damn ball, baby. 